Hi, this is Anne from Anne's Crafting Adventures. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable patriotic mini pillow. It measures about four by four inches and is made with two charm squares or you can use two five by five squares of fabric. We'll do some cutting, gluing, and hand stitching. So let's get started. The supplies we'll need to make today's mini patriotic pillow are two five by five fabric squares. And if you're anything like me, you have leftover charm pack squares from other projects. These red squares are leftovers from a quilt I made last year. And if you don't have charm pack leftovers, you can always cut squares from yardage. This next one is a background or white square that's three and a half by three and a half inches. We also have a star template, which is just a cookie cutter. And it happens to actually fit right in there in that three and a half inch square. The next thing is some thicker embroidery floss. And this is number 336. We also have a fabric glue stick. And there are a couple different ways you can attach your star to your fabric when you're going to do some hand stitching with it. Um, you can use the fabric glue stick. We also have pins. You can use these pretty pins. And if you want to do a little bit more of a permanent type of attachment, you can do heat and bond light. That makes it real easy to get your placement for your star and you don't have to worry about edges coming up. You'll need scissors, fiber fill. That's just a little example of a tiny amount of fiber fill. We'll need much more. Uh, sewing machine and the pencil. Okay, the first step is to trace and cut out the star using the template. The next step is to glue down with our fabric glue stick. We're going to glue the star to the background fabric. And I'm just you know, doing a little swipe on each point so that it'll hold it down. And then I'm just kind of eyeballing the placement, and I think it looks pretty good there. Press it down. It's not going anywhere for when I do the stitching, but if you want, you can always add a pin just to give it a little extra stability. So I think I'll do that. Okay, so there we have it. I've gone ahead and threaded my needle with the blue embroidery floss and I'm going to stitch around the outside edge of the star to give it a little pop of color and there's a couple different ways you can do this hand stitching a lot of people would do a blanket stitch and there are plenty of videos out there that show you how to do that but I think I'm going to do something a little different I'm just going to do a little straight stitch and just kind of go in with each one and what I'll do is I'll get started and I'll meet you back here when I'm all done Okay, so I've completed the hand stitching around the star shape, and what we're going to do is put the backing on, so we're going to have those right sides facing, and then I'm going to pin it down around the ed edges, and let me do some nice, ooh, what color, let's do this nice teal, we'll pin down the edges, and what I'll do is I will stitch a quarter inch around the sides leaving, I don't know, maybe a two inch opening on one side so that I can turn it right sides out and then we can stuff it with some fiber fill. So let me put one more pin in. Okay, and now we're gonna go on a field trip to the sewing machine. Okay, here we are at the sewing machine and I've got it all set up to stitch. I'm gonna do a quarter inch seam all the way around and I'm gonna leave you know, maybe a two inch gap so I can turn it and we can stuff it with fiber fill. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start and um, do a little back spacing so that we can have a nice solid edge where we turn it. And if it's not a perfect quarter inch seam as you make the turns, it's fine. It'll still work. Your pillow will be great and lovely. All right, one more stitch on this side. Okay. 
Okay, here I think I'm going to take a pin out so I don't run it over. And we'll keep going. Okay, final long side. And here we want to make sure we leave at least a two inch opening backspace and we're done. Now what I'm going to do here is thread, and what I'm going to do real quick is trim the corners just so we have a little bit less bulk when we go to turn it right side out. Trim my thread. Okay, and I will meet you back over at the other table to fill it and do the final stitching. Okay, we're back at the table and I've already gone ahead and taken out the pins. And you can see the other side where the back side of the stitching is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it right side out through my little opening. And you can already see how cute it's gotten. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pencil from earlier and just kind of stick it in the corners without pressing too hard because I don't want to push through the stitching. And all right, now that these corners are out. All right, I am going to get to the stuffing and I have a whole bunch of polyfill and I tend to like my pillows a little firmly stuffed. So I'm gonna put a lot in here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a little, I think they're called a ladder stitch. And I'm gonna use that. I've already loaded up and thread my needle with a double strand of matching red thread. And what I'm gonna do is just stitch along the top and to close this up and then we'll be close to being done. And what I'll do is I'll just meet you back here after I finish up the ladder stitch. I finished the ladder stitch on this side. You can barely see it, which is exactly what we want. And here's the completed pillow. I think it came out really cute. And every year around the 4th of July, I make a pillow just like this. And here's one I made a different year, kind of in alternating colors. They are so cute together. And what I've done is over the years, like I said, I've made other ones. And what I'll do to finish out this segment is I'll give you a little tour of all the cushions, the little pillows and the pin cushions I've made over the years.